Hello, in this problem we're going to do a proof by induction. We're going to prove that this finite sum here is equal to n over 2n plus 1 for all positive integers n. So in every induction proof, it's really important to identify your statement. So this here is what we are showing. I'll call this s sub n. And we're showing it's true for all positive integers n. So we're going to do it with mathematical induction. So proof. The first step in every induction proof is called the base case. So base case. And so in the base case, we have to show that our statement is true for the smallest integer in question. So since this problem is about all positive integers, the smallest integer in question is one, because one is the smallest positive integer. So we have to show that s sub one is true. Sometimes you start at different numbers, sometimes you start at zero, so it's really important to pay attention to this part. So let's just check to see if it's true when n equals one. So basically that means that we plug in one into this equation. So the left hand side of this equation is the finite sum as i runs from one to one of one over two i minus one 2i plus 1. So we're starting at 1 and we're finishing at 1. So basically we just plug in 1. So this is 1 over 2 times 1 minus 1. So 2 minus 1. 2 times 1 plus 1. So 2 plus 1. Right? Because 2 times 1 is 1. So 2 plus 1. This is 1 over 2 minus 1 is 1. 2 plus 1 is 3. So we get 1 over 3. Let's check the right hand side. So we just plug in one up here. So RHS, that'll be one over two plus one. So one over three again. So we've shown that when n equals one, the left hand side is the same as the right hand side. So the statement is true when n equals one. In other words, S sub one is true. The next step is called the induction hypothesis. So induction hypothesis. In this step, we assume that our statement is true for some k. So we're going to assume s sub k is true. So I'm actually going to write that down. So suppose, so basically you go to your original problem up here, original question, and you put a k everywhere there's an n. So if you see an n, you put a k. So it'll be the sum as i runs from 1 to k of 1 over 2i minus 1, 2i plus 1. And we're saying that's equal to k over 2k plus 1. Okay, k over 2k plus 1. And we're supposing this is true for some positive integer k. Okay, so so far it's not really difficult, it's just formalities. The hard step is the next step, or harder step, it's the induction step. So this is the induction step. So here's where we have to show that our statement is true when n equals k plus 1. So we have to show that s sub k plus 1 is true. So it really helps if you know, if you know what you're trying to show. So I'm going to write claim that, so I'm just basically going to replace all of the k's here with k plus 1's or more precisely replace all of the n's here with k plus 1's. Same thing, right? I'm just writing down what we're trying to show. It's important to write claim when you do this because if you just write down what you're trying to show, the reader has no idea what you're doing. And the first assumption is that um, the person writing this doesn't know what they're doing because 
They just wrote down what they're trying to prove. So it's very important to communicate your ideas to whoever is reading your work by writing down the word claim or we need to show or something to indicate that this is what you're trying to prove. And so this is equal to k plus 1 over, and then replace this with k plus 1. When you do that, it's going to be this, right? Because it'll be this, and then it'll be 2k plus 2 plus 1. So it's going to be 2k plus 3. You see that? So this is 2k plus 3. That's what we're trying to show. Okay. So how do we do that? That's the tricky part. So it shouldn't be too bad, though. Basically, we have to use the induction hypothesis. So we have to somehow involve this. So we'll start by writing this down again. So finite sum is i runs from 1 to k plus 1. Whoops. Handwriting is deteriorating. k plus 1 of 1 over 2i minus 1, 2i plus 1. We have to show it's equal to that. So what we're going to do is we want to involve this. So we're going to break up this sum. First, we're going to go from 1 to k, and then we're going to add the last term like this. So we'll go from 1 to k of 1 over, and it's 2i minus 1, 2i plus 1, plus, and then the very last term. So we're going to plug in k plus 1 here. So it'll be 1 over. I'm going to skip a little bit of work here. So I'm plugging in k plus 1 for the 2 here. Um, so it'll be 2k plus 1 minus 1. So 2k plus 2 minus 1. So 2k plus 1. Right, because it'll be 2 times k plus 1 minus 1. If you put a k plus 1 where the i is, and then um, you get 2 times k, which is 2k, 2 times 1, which is 2 minus 1. This becomes 2k plus 1. And then here it'll be 2k plus 3 using the same logic. So what we've done basically is we've taken this sum, and this sum runs from 1 to k plus 1. So we've broken it up. So it goes now it goes from 1 to k, plus we're adding the last term. We're putting it outside of the summation notation. So basically to get this, I just put a k plus 1 here and here. Uh, and I didn't show the work for the 3, but basically it's, oh, I'll show you up here. It's 2k plus 1 plus 1. So it's 2k plus 2 plus 1. So it's 2k plus 3, okay? So you see it there. So that, that's where that's coming from. It, it's one of those things that if you don't see it in your head, you just got to get a pencil out and plug it in, and you'll see what happens. So now, so this is equal to, and this is going to be by the induction hypothesis. I'll write by IH. So all of this right here that I'm circling in yellow is going to be equal to this. Right, this right here. K over 2K plus 1. That's by the induction hypothesis. We're basically... Uh, replacing that. So it'll be k over 2k plus 1. This is k over 2k plus 1 plus, and then we have this stuff over here, 1 over 2k plus 1, 2k plus 3. Good stuff. All right, I'm going to come over here. Equals. We need a common denominator, so I'm going to multiply this by 2k plus 3 over 2k plus 3 like this. This is k over 2k plus 1 times 2k plus 3 multiplying by 1. So we have a common denominator, 2k plus 3 plus 1 over 2k plus 1, 2k plus 3. Now we can write it all under the same denominator. So this is going to be k times 2k plus 3 plus 1 over and then on the bottom we have 2k plus 1, 2k plus 3. Okay, so we're trying to show that all of this is magically equal to this right here. So let's just keep going and see what happens. I guess we can distribute the k here. k times 2k is going to be 2k squared plus, and then k times 3 will give us 3k, and then plus 1. All of this is being divided by 2k 
plus one, 2k plus three. And I believe the numerator factors like this, try it, I think it's going to be something like that. And this is 2k plus one, 2k plus three. So I think this is going to be um, 2k plus one, k plus one. Let's check, 2k times k is 2k squared. The inner is k, the outer is 2k, you add them up, you get 3k. k plus 2k is 3k, one times one is one. Yep, it checks, boom, boom. This is k plus one over 2k plus three. And that is precisely what we were trying to show, right? Yep, that's it. So this shows that s sub k plus one is true. So s sub k plus one is true. So let's think about what we were trying to do from the beginning. Put it all together. So the question asked us to prove this statement uh, for all positive integers n. We decided to use the principle of mathematical induction. And so that requires uh, two things, showing the base case is true and showing that if our statement is true for k, it must also be true for k plus one. We've done those two things. And so therefore, by the principle of mathematical induction, our statement is true for all positive integers n. So thus, by the principle of mathematical induction, so mathematical induction, we've shown that our statement, which is the sum, as i runs from one uh, to n of one over uh, two, two i minus one, two i plus one, and that's equal to n over two n plus one, for all positive integers n. So for all positive integers, N, and that would complete the proof. So not really a hard proof. Um, it's a lot of writing in this one. You have that 2i minus 1, 2i plus 1 in the denominator there. It's really kind of, it's a lot of writing, a lot of little writing, um, just messy, but uh, not, not too bad at all. I hope this uh, video has been helpful to someone out there who's trying to learn some mathematics. Good luck.